Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Today we're going to be discussing uh, what VRChat has actually been doing to, to their people who play the game, which is banning them based on mods. Now, the only reason modifications exist for this game is because in the beginning of the game, when it first came out, you had an unlimited amount of avatars you could have, which people really loved and enjoyed. But the thing is, as it went on, hold on, fucking turn down the lighting a bit, make me a bit darker, but honestly, I don't care. But uh, what they've been doing is banning the people with the mods. Now, the only reason the mods came into existence was because they removed that aspect, which was the aspect of unlimited avatars now people enjoyed having their unlimited avatars but the moment they did their update where you could only have 16 well and originally started from 13 then it went to 16 avatars you could only have which pissed a lot of people off and it still pisses them off because now now we found this new avatar that we really want to keep and we want to keep around but we can't save it because well we're limited to how much we can keep saved. So some people came out with a fix for that, which was the mods, which comes from the Ruby server and another server. You can download these mods for free and then install them onto your computer. It's their decision. You can't really enforce this in any aspect. Bethesda knew they could not enforce this either. That's why when Fallout 4 came out, they had a whole modification section for their game, which allowed you to choose what mods you wanted to put on, and it also allowed you to modify the game in a way you wanted it to be, not hint and left it up to the player on what mods you wanted to add and what mods you did not. You could choose to mod your game, or you could choose not to mod your game. I normally choose not to mod my game, so I don't mod games. I never mod a game, and I never plan on it, because I feel like, because I'm always afraid if I put a mod onto a game, I'm gonna fuck with my game. Okay, now I'm too dark. I don't like this. That makes me look too purple. Whatever. I don't care anymore. But the moment you start banning people on your platform due to a mod that was created because you took something away that everyone hated you for, it doesn't really mean you gotta go ahead and ban them. I can understand you wanna keep the mods to a minimum, but it would just be simpler to do this simple fix. Put on your website the ability to activate either unlimited 16 avatars you can keep, because I'm 100% sure if you put that onto your website, there would be no issues with modifications. The only mod people would actually use is the play space mover, because, well, full body, you need play space mover for certain headsets to work with full body. It's the only way you can work with full body with certain headsets. But you should not be, what you should not be doing is banning people. I know I'm just a normal player on here. I know I'm just a normal person who plays your game. It's not my place to put these rules into effect. It's not my place to tell you what to do this is completely your decision but you got to keep in mind the moment you start banning people based on you have this you have a modded game or a modded client you're fucking with them and you're saying we don't give a shit you can go fuck yourself which bethesda learned when people continued to mod their games when they said not to it ended up poorly to Bethesda because they took a lower than 15 year old child to court 
to court just for modifying one of their games. How does that make you look if you're taking a lower than 15 year old to court over modification to your game? You can't prosecute the child. And you can't prosecute the modders because technically, under terms and surfaces, you never state you can't modify the game. If you didn't want the game to be modified, it would be meh. It would be in loading screens, but it is not in loading screens. We just want unlimited avatars. We want to be able to favorite as many avatars as we want because you never know when you're going to find a new one that you might like and might want to save. Because I have this issue a lot because I'll be wandering around in VR chat. I find an avatar that I like and then I'm like, fuck, my favorites list is full. What can I get rid of? And I want to keep all the avatars I already have and it hurts me. Every time I got to go through that list and get rid of one of them. And it annoys me. And it annoys a lot of people on here because we want to keep all of our avatars that we favorited. You could A, bump it up to around 20 to 25 avatars that can be favorited. Or B, give it unlimited favorites back. That's honestly the only option you would have to get rid of the reason for modification people want unlimited avatars so add a special button to the bottom of do, do what you did with like the world saves ha have have like different lists and tiers of your save list you have four save lists for avatars each save list consists of 16 that gives you a large amount of avatars to save that gives you a large gives us all a large amount of things to do and we don't need to worry about unfavoriting an avatar unless all those lists are full now i know i'm sounding like a retard arguing with vr chat and arguing with uh, a lot of things that they've done but you got to keep in mind your population on this game 97% of them have a modification. I don't. I'm one of the other percent. I don't mod this game. I I don't mod any game I've ever had. If it has a DLC, I don't buy the DLC unless I'm needed it. But keep in mind, you can't tell people, hey, you have a modded client. We're getting rid of you. That tells you you're saying, we don't like that you're changing our coding back to what it was before. Because technically, in the code of the game, it still exists. If you go through all of the files of VR chat, the unlimited avatar shit is still in your code. Meaning, you never took that out. You could honestly switch it on and off if you wanted. You could add a code to turn it on. And put it on your website and be like, this is for people who want unlimited avatars. And this is for people who want a list of avatars. At least give us something that betters us in getting more avatars. Because that's the only reason anyone's modified their game. They don't modify their VRC mods. They're not modifying anything else. They're just modifying the game to give them more avatars. Why? Because... We have lots of preferences of avatars. And if you don't want public uh, worlds to be used for NSFW, um, there's no preventing that, actually. No matter how hard you try, Bethesda even learned this when it came down to their Fallout games. They were like, we don't want this mod out there. We're going to try and figure out who made it. They figured out who made it. Didn't really go well for them. And they failed miserably. Why did they fail? Because it was a fan made content. And it was licensed content. Once you post it online. It's licensed. The original creator. Can always be traced back to the certain person. 
as long as there's evidence leading it back to you, there's nothing an actual company can do. You can't really sue the people who make all of these modifications. Because if you, you attempt to sue them, you're basically telling your audience and the people who play your game, we don't give a fuck who you are. We don't give a fuck anyway. You can go fuck yourselves and leave our game. To be honest, the whole reason VR chat has been dying lately is because one, the people who run VR chat and the people who do this type of stuff is kind of making people go away. This is sort of like a second life to the actual game, Second Life. If you've never played that, Second Life is a 2D game that's someone like this. You can be any character you want. You can be a furry. You can be a female, male, anything you really wanted. And you could have any house. But you had to get money in the game for that. Now... The way, the way it worked was, you were allowed to roam around, talk to other people, and socialize. Sometimes you wind up meeting really good people who become really good friends, and sometimes you meet people who are not very good friends. And then just plain ass assholes. The same thing goes for VR chat. This happens in VR chat as well. But what Second Life does, what VR chat doesn't, they have an 18 plus server areas. If you put that inside of your lists of worlds, labeling it as an 18 plus world, if someone enters a public 18 plus world, they better be ready for something sexual, something inappropriate. You can't really prevent it from being inside of public worlds because one, everyone here is hella lewd. There's, there's people, most of your demographic is people over the age of 20. The people who are under the age of 13 are on here because their parents think it's okay to be playing the game. When this game was designed for socialization and having fun, even though it's designed for having fun, its limit was set to 13. The reason it was set to 13 for wearing a headset and for anything like that is because the headset gives off radio waves that the normal 13 year old can handle. Anyone under the age of 13 has issues handling the waves given off by the headset because the sensor on the headset is giving UV rays. It's not enough to kill you, but it lowers your immune system to the point where you can get sick really easily. The longer you wear the, your headset, the most likely you are to get sick. So say you wear your headset every single day for the past month. Your immune system is now extremely low. You are more likely to get sick than not wearing a VR headset. This is something that many VR headset owners know when they put on their headset. The reason it is recommended for 13 plus is because one, the human body at the age of 13 can handle this because the immune system is really strong. As for someone who is under the age of 13, your immune system is still a work in progress and it does not have the strength or mental capacity to handle VR every single time. So you're going to be needing a lot of breaks to the point where you can't get to it. Or else you're going to wind up getting sick. You're going to need to drink a lot of water when you're playing in VR. Especially when you ERP. Now I'm fine with the whole friends invite plus and invite only being where you can do lewd stuff. But there is an issue with that because no one really cares. Not even the little kids fucking care. Nobody fucking cares about that rule. They will still do it in a public world. There is no stopping. Another thing that Bethesda tried to do 
to cope with the modifications is they added the modifications onto Fallout 4 game. So any modification done by, well, let's say I made a mod for Fallout 4. I can put it onto Fallout 4 by using the Fallout 4 website. That modification now has an image and a logo to go with it. Once that modification is downloaded through the game, I can no longer complete the story with getting achievements, which makes sense because I just modified the game. I wouldn't really need the achievements if I'm just playing for the fuck of it and with modifications. I just want to see the modifications. I don't want to see the story. But most people play through the entire story, unlock every single thing they had to unlock, and then they download a modification. If you've completed the story mode on Fallout 4 and then download your modification, you still get achievements. But the thing about the achievements is that they're related to the one of the modifications. They will appear sometimes, not all the time. You'll still get the achievements. My ear is fucking ringing. Now, VR chat, I can understand you want to crack down on the mods. This thing is something you can't do. It's not possible. Due to how many people have a mod and how many people don't have mods, the people who have mods outweighs the people who do have mods. And I think you know this more than I do, but if you do a massive ban of over 600 people, or 60 people get banned due to modifications, there's going to be a riot. Nobody's going to care. And nobody's going to want to play your game anymore. The only reason they'd come on here is if they have a group on here, like Clone Troopers of VR Chat. You guys have seen my videos on that. Other stuff like that. But that would be the only reason why people would come on here, to join those groups. There would be no other reason to be on here except for that. There would be no reason to hang out and have fun. You say you want us to have fun and hang out. We can't have fun if you take away something that we that lets us have fun, which is unlimited avatars, or at least a little bit more. If you could bump up the avatar list to the amount of avatars you could have to around 30 or 25, that would put people at more ease knowing I have 25 spaces I can fill up. I don't need to worry about it because eventually one of those 25 I'm going to drift away from. It doesn't work when you have 16 because one, 16, you fall in love with those 16 easily. When it comes to a number above 16, it is easy to forget about one of them and easy to no longer relate to that one, which is why this would be the easiest solution. Either you give us unlimited avatars back, or you bump with the amount of avatars we can have. Or you could do the list thing that I mentioned with the worlds. The worlds favorites allow you to favorite up to 25 to 30 worlds, allowing you to have a wide variety of worlds, and you have four lists. Doing this with avatars also allows people to favorite 16 avatars on four separate lists, allowing them to organize said list and allowing them to organize said avatars. It's an easy solution to a big problem that you are having. There would be no reason for modifications if everyone had free, the ability to favorite unlimited avatars or had that specific aspect. They would have no reason for the mods whatsoever. The only reason they have the mod is for unlimited avatars. Now, to prove that my game is not modified to VR chat, I'm going to disable my camera. As you can see, my game is completely 
normal. Let's see legendary avatars, avatar well, stutter hunt, mind creations, favorited avatars. I'm at the max, but I want more space. This is an issue that we all want. But you just don't listen to your community when we tell you we want this. They're like, we're gonna do an update. And then you delay that same update for over 50 months. And then we don't even get what we wanted. So you can see, friends list is still the same. Settings are the same as always. And my safety is the same. This is the normal settings for VRC. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're a chat, please take this into account. I'm not trying to roast you, say your game sucks. I'm just trying to give you little spitballs on how to better your game and how you can go about changing the method of people who do mods because Bethesda came up with their own good way, which was allowing people to upload it to a website and then it appears on the game roster in Fallout 4. Also, the same with Fallout 76. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see all of you in the next video. Next video, we will be discussing Fire Zone. Bye bye. And now.